everyone welcome to my channel Rafi Automation today in this video we will discuss about ACH580 drive configuration so I will show you how to configure your VFT uh, once you receive your new VFT you have to configure some points so I will show you how to do that so you have to go to the primary setting in the primary setting you can use the HVAC quick setup and here is your uh, motor uh, you have to put the nominal uh, values uh, as you can see it will ask you what is your total current of your motor so you have to feed here the total current of your motor in the second parameter it will ask you what is the speed in rpm of your motor so my motor speed is 1475 so i have put the values 1475 in the second stage it will ask you what is the voltage of your motor so you can put the value of your motor you have to check the nameplate of your motor and feed the values here <coughs> And the uh, uh, next parameter is asking about the frequency. So again you have to check the nameplate of your motor. You have to feed the correct value of the motor frequency. In the next, it will ask you what type of motor. It's not important uh, to feed here. Uh, anyway, you can select its uh, you can select the uh, motor type it's a synchronous motor induction motor uh, there are different types of motor so according to that you can select the values as you can see zero so currently my drive is locked you have to choose your motor type uh, power uh, my motor is 30 kilowatt so I have fit the value 30 kilowatt you have to check your motor nameplate and fit the value the next it will ask you what is the power factor of your motor again you have to see the motor nameplate and you have to write here uh, nameplate uh, this value is uh, not also very important if you don't fit also this value your motor will run on the correct speed but the most important you have to voltage the you have to feed the voltage current and the speed of your motor uh, that three parameters are very important and uh, the power of your motor so according to that uh, BFD will calculate the output power of the motor once uh, it's running the torque is optional so these was uh, the values you have to put in the VFT uh, so next I will show you uh, you have to do some other configuration to start to run your motor so I will show you I will show you you have to go to the start stop reference so select your start stop reference and <coughs> now here it's asking you if you would like the basic operation setup basic control setup auto control selection primary on primary auto control so let's go to the basic operation setup now here are some values acceleration time is the time when your motor will uh, start from zero to the high limit so that is the time your motor will start from the 0 to 50 hertz uh, uh, to the 50 hertz and this is the time 50 seconds my acceleration time if you would like you can increase or decrease the setting it's the factory default if your drive is not locked you will be unable to change this one so the next is uh, deacceleration time in deacceleration time once the motor received the uh, uh, stop command 
This is the time your motor will ramp down in 50 seconds from the high speed to the stop lowest speed. So these two values you have to feed also. Sometimes if your capacity of the motor is very big, so you have to increase the time as per your requirement. If the motor is too small, you can decrease the values. Uh, in the next, uh, I will show you the basic control you can select. What is in the basic control? So direct control wipe input output terminals. Uh, here it's asking you uh, if you would like to connect your motor, you, you want to run your motor to the input output terminals. So if you would like to run through the analog input one, you have to select your sensor type. So what is your sensor type? Is uh, the ampere reading, is the resistor reading, or it's the voltage reading? There are many types of sensor. Uh, so next, you, you have to uh, do the setup for the analog input one. Frequency when analog input one at zero hertz. Frequency when analog input at maximum. So you have to do the configuration for the analog input one. If you would like to run your VFD through analog input one. And here is the direct control Y field bus communication. Here you can uh, run your motor to backnet MSTP or Modbus or TP. So here you have to configure Actually I don't need this but anyway Let's see, yeah, here it will show you all the device object instance, this is the number you have to put in the uh, network, this is the station make ID254, if communication fails, ignore, communication loss time 30 seconds, so back, direct control for a field bus communication, here you can use the pit control, for the single motor pit control, you can use the pit control. So uh, these are not uh, important if you want to normal run your motor. Here is the primary auto control location from where you would like to run primarily. If the primary communication is not there, you can choose the secondary location. So the start stop direction from digital input start stop command I am receiving from digital input 1 and direction will be forward once I receive this command the motor will run forward. You can change it to the reverse is according to your operation you like the forward speed or you would like the reverse speed. So Analog input one directly, and you, you are, if you are running from the analog input, you have to do the scaling as well. As you can see down, there is analog input one scaling. So currently, I'm not using the analog input. I just uh, use the digital input. So my start stop command and direction is from digital input one. You can change it as well if your drive is not locked. You can use the digital input two, three, four. It's up to you. So this was the very important command. You must select uh, the drive uh, run and direction command and select any one of your terminal in the program. You must configure it. So I hope uh, this was the basic setting and you will be able to do the basic setting in your drive. It's uh, SCH580. Uh, keep in mind that different uh, VFDs uh, having a different setting. So in SE 5 page 0 you can do this to run your drive. If you have anything mentioned in the comment and I will be able to reply you uh, through the video or through the comments. So if you are new to the channel please subscribe and like the video. In the next video uh, I will show you some uh, different controls. Uh, of the VFT, uh, this was just the basic.
to run your drive uh, thank you for watching please subscribe the channel and like the video see you in the next video